in cell F2, you should start with your if statement equals if. Okay, now the beginning part of your equal statement has to be if D2 subtract 40, because these are constant, Oh, sorry, I said, did that wrong. D needs to be greater than 40. I was one step ahead of myself. I apologize. So if D2 is greater than 40, then we're going to do our formula of, and I'm going to do this in a couple parentheses here. I'm going to take D2 as 40, because we're going to do, um, in math, we always do what happens in, um, Parentheses happens first, so you make sure it subtracts first, and then I'm going to multiply it by its rate of C2 Then I'm going to take that and multiply it by 1.5 And then if it's false, I'm going to put in 0 Now again, my formula is up here. I know I hit enter and it's not showing up down below here, but my whole entire formula is up there. Oops. Now we did not go through and um, type each one of these formulas in for every person, did we on Friday? Do you remember what we did on Friday? Do you remember? On the bottom right-hand corner of that cell, that is called your fill handle. And when you move over to that fill handle, you're going to get a black crosshairs that will allow you to copy down. Now, what you will find is only the people that have more than 40 hours will have a number here if you've done it correctly. Okay. So we have gone through and calculated their regular earnings, and we've calculated their overtime earnings. The next column we have is going to be the F column, which stands for gross pay. What is gross pay? That doesn't mean it's yucky pay. Does anyone get a paycheck for a job that they do, they work? Okay. So every, every time you get paid, if you have a job, one of the things that's going to happen is they're going to give you a pay stub or an advice of deposit, depending on if you get a check or a direct deposit. On there, it's going to give 